Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk products that have launched. So I was able to pick up the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette, which is the large eyeshadow palette. And then I also picked up both of the new Pillow Talk lip colors. So that includes the liner and the lipstick. So I have the medium and the intense. I will be demoing both for you today. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts about these products, then just keep watching. Charlotte Tilbury has released more Pillow Talk products. Now, I have quite a lot of Pillow Talk products in my collection. I feel like Pillow Talk lipstick is singularly what started it all for Charlotte. That was her best-selling product. It was the most best-selling lipstick, and she certainly has capitalized on Pillow Talk. I have a Pillow Talk blush, a Pillow Talk quad, a glittery Pillow Talk quad, Pillow Talk lipstick, Pillow Talk lip liner, Pillow Talk lip gloss, Pillow Talk diamond lipstick, Pillow Talk shiny lipstick, and now we have more pillow talk products i need to know do you think this is a bit excessive somebody in my comments said this is just a repeat of nars orgasm how they took it way too far <laughs> if you go onto the charlotte tilbury website there is a whole page dedicated to pillow talk products where you can take a look and see all of the items that are offered through the line that have to do with pillow talk now personally my perspective on this like yeah she's definitely capitalizing it a lot of Pillow Talk products. I think naming a lipstick Pillow Talk Medium or Pillow Talk Intense, that's when you know you've taken it a little bit too far to where you can't even come up with an original name. Like it just has to be Pillow Talk in front of it so that people are more willing to buy it. But that being said, there are Pillow Talk lovers and there are Charlotte Tilbury lovers and I don't think there's anything wrong with this collection and with these releases. Pillow Talk is such a huge name in the brand and I was actually excited about more Pillow Talk products just to see what she would come out with. So she released a lot of Pillow Talk products. So a couple that I did not personally pick up was the Chic to Chic Pillow Talk Intense Blush. So essentially that is a deeper version for medium to deep skin tones of the original Pillow Talk blush. Obviously, I'm quite fair, so for me, it was just a waste of money to purchase that. However, I really love the original Pillow Talk blush. I think it's stunning, and I think it's really great that there's an option for deeper skin tones. So if it's anything like this, it's a really beautiful blush. That's what I have on my cheeks right now. She also came out with Pillow Talk eyeliner, which from what I saw, it's kind of like an aubergine liner. I don't have much experience with Charlotte Tilbury's eyeliner liners. I'm sure it's really good creamy formula. I just personally knew I probably wasn't going to use it, so I didn't pick it up. Other than that, though, I did pick up the new stuff, so we are going to start off with what I know you guys are excited about most, the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. Now, in her line, she already has a Pillow Talk Quad and then a Pillow Talk Palette of Pops, which is her glitter formula, and here we have a full extended palette. So, on Charlotte Tilbury's website, this is $75, and compared to her normal collection, her big palettes like these are always such a good deal, so if you really would do want to get into the formula, I always recommend you go for one of her bigger palettes. It's just a better value because her quads are not a good value whatsoever. So $75 still is very steep, but if you want to treat yourself or you're interested in trying the Charlotte Tilbury formula for the experience, this is the best time to do it if you are willing to shell that kind of money. This palette is limited edition and it is described as a dreamy 12 shade palette including champagne and soft pink eyeshadows for four pillow talk eye glow looks. This is not her first palette in this format. Basically, you have four different looks. You have day, desk, day, and dream. I think this really makes it easy for the user to come up with the look without thinking about it. It really breaks it down into looks for you. You have really light pink eye. This section is personally my favorite. And then you have two different matte eyes to work with. And then this really fun pink deep look which is actually what's on the top of my lid right now if you want everything to be more fun packaging wise as well she has other palettes with similar packaging but not with this type of color really stunning very reflective very hard for videography here but it is a really stunning palette it is plastic and this is made in italy with an 18 month shelf life so as far as the color scheme goes pillow talk is a nude pink that is the basis of the entire pillow talk name and 
so here are the eyeshadow shades that she came out with. You have more champagne-y, pinky types of shadows, and it is a really beautiful cohesive palette. You don't feel overwhelmed when you are looking at it, and you kind of know what look you're going to get when you see this palette. Now you have more of a soft pink look, you have more of a peachy tones over here, you have more neutral browns over here, and then you have more berry shades over here. So even though you have that nude pink look in mind, Actually, you can get quite a lot of different looks within this palette. Now, when I saw this, I was highly underwhelmed because Charlotte Tilbury is known for re-releasing the same thing over and over again. Like, yes, a lot of her stuff looks the same, and when you blend it out on the eye, it does look the same. So I wouldn't say that this is anything necessarily unique to her collection. You just kind of have to know what you have. She loves these pinky type of eyeshadows, so if you have all of her stuff, you you have all of these colors. Interrupting here really quickly because I forgot to mention this. At the end of this video, like the very, very end, I inserted a clip of where I am comparing the Pillow Talk Quad to the four closest shades in the Instant Eye Look palette. So if you are interested at, in that, that will be at literally the very end last section of the video for those that were curious. There you go. But I'm a makeup collector, I'm a makeup enthusiast. This to me, I was still very excited for. But if you're not one for repetitions or similar shades, you really want something super unique, this is not it. However, if you are a Pillow Talk enthusiast or you just see yourself using these tones a lot, this might be a great deal for you to where you actually will be using these shades all the time. I love a good pinky look, so I was really excited about this. Some things to note as far as quality goes. Overall, very exceptional quality. In here, I think it has a really great matte to shimmer ratio. There's actually not that many shimmers in here. There's only four shimmer shades and eight matte shades, which I think is fantastic because it can be a little bit overwhelming with too many shimmer shades. In all honesty, on an eye look, typically I use more mattes compared to shimmers, so I think that's really great. Every time I use her shadows, I love her matte formula more and more. The mattes in here are fantastic. They are super blendable and they actually are much more pigmented on the eye than you would expect them to be just looking at them in the pan. They're very soft and buttery and they really do do the blend work for you. You don't have to put much work into it. It's very easy, extremely pigmented, and you will see that in my demo. So I think, you know, a lot of times the concern with Charlotte Tilbury is that it's a brand for more fair women and I'm not going to disagree with that. I definitely don't think her brand completely caters fairly to deeper skin tones, but I I will say do expect these shades to be more deep than they appear in the pan. This is with the more deep shades here on my eye so they do have some vibrancy to them and again they really are very pigmented and smooth and I'm super impressed with her matte formula. One thing I don't like and this is what I also noticed in the regular Pillow Talk Quad is her shades kind of change tones as they are applied to the eye. The desk section in particular here pulls much more warm on the eyes so for for the Pillow Talk Quad right over here, when I originally did a review on this, I was very excited for it. It looked like the most gorgeous pinky tones, and then on my eyes, it was very peachy and warm, and just not what I was expecting or was excited for. Same thing goes with this these kind of shades. For some reason, they just don't pull as pink and neutral as I would prefer. They definitely pull more warm, and that is kind of a turnoff for me, but it is still pretty. It's just her shades, for some reason, always do that, and it's weird. Luckily, here on the date side, these browns are actually more neutral, which is definitely what this palette needed because everything, I feel like, pulls very warm and more warm than you would expect. So these kind of bring a more neutral tone to the palette, and then, I mean, these berries pull very, very very pink. I I mean they I, I am expecting that from this though. So these look how they're supposed to. So the mattes are good. Just be aware that the tones kind of change as you apply them. The shimmers in here are also very nice. They aren't super metallic. I think they are applied best with a finger. You can use a brush for a softer finish all over the eye, especially for every day. But if you want more intensity, apply the shadow either wet or with a finger. She doesn't have any of her pop formula in this palette, so just be aware of that. With her pop formula, you kind of love it or you hate it. It's more of a glitter formula. I don't have that in here. I'm not too crazy about her pop formula personally, so I'm not too mad about that. But yeah, the shimmers here are good. I wouldn't say they're the most amazing shimmers I've ever used. I have a lot of other brands whose shimmers I prefer 
over Charlotte's, but overall she does have a knockout formula, especially the mattes for some reason. I'm really in love with them and the shimmers are very pretty as well. So if you couldn't tell, I actually am really liking this palette. I was worried I would be underwhelmed by it, especially owning a lot of her palettes. It's just repetition after repetition, but I am very happy that I have it as a fan of the brand and as a fan of Pillow Talk itself. I am happy about this. So yes, it may be repetitive and she's kind of beating a dead horse but I was excited to own it and it does feel really nice to own in my collection. So really quickly, I do want to talk about this eye look that I created today. So I started off with this middle shade from the Desk palette right here and you'll see, I mostly applied this so you could see that it pulls more warm and I applied that to the inner half of my crease. Blended very easily and you can see the pigmentation that is there, very opaque on the eye. And then the next shade I went into was this brown right here from the Desk portion and I mostly use this shade to show you the contrast between the warmth and the more neutral color that you get from the desk shade so you can really see the kind of variety looks that you can create so this doesn't necessarily go with the look but I wanted to show you the variation that the undertones have here and then the next shade I went into was the most berry shade right here in the dream section and I kind of put that all over my eye because that's really the tone I was going for today I really wanted it very berry and peach and very impressed with the vibrancy of that shade as well and then I mostly played in that section so I used the middle shade from the dream section and I used my finger and applied that all over my lid that whole trio obviously looks very well goes very well together and then I used the lighter shade with a brush to show you how you can get a lighter wash with that sheen I did eventually go in with with my finger but for every day don't be intimidated to use a brush it definitely is possible and it applies more of a wash I just I just love the way that she sections each of these colors for a certain look. I think it makes it a lot easier for everybody and of course the colors really are cohesive together. I took the lightest shade in the day section and I use that as my inner corner color. It has a little bit of a rose champagne-iness to it. Not a super bright light shade but still very pretty. Great for that inner corner pop. And this shade I am in love with. This is from the date section and it's the deepest chocolate brown color. Amazing quality. It has almost like a plum me undertone to it and I applied that to my lower lash line and this is the perfect smoke out color for any look. It's the only shade I have on my lower lash line besides eyeliner and it just perfectly smokes out that lower lash line. It's not too harsh, soft enough and it's just the perfect smoky color to bring out the eyes. I'm honestly obsessed with this color. I also used that dark brown the other day as eyeliner with just an eyeliner brush and I was so impressed with how beautiful and smooth it applied to the eyelid. Sometimes it can be tricky to use eyeshadow as eyeliner but not with that shade. So very good experience with this application. All right, so now it is time to move on to the new lipstick colors that came out. Her lipsticks, of course, are obviously pricey as well. The lipsticks are $30 a piece, which whew, that can really burn a hole in your pocket if you purchase like more than one, 35 for a lipstick. But she does have one of my favorite lipstick formulas in the game. And the lip sheets are $22, which isn't too much more than luxury products but they are a couple dollars more compared to the competition but she has you pay a lot but the quality is good okay i don't shy away from a dark lip as you can tell so i purchased both of the pillow talk colors along with the lip cheats i love her lip liners these are the lip cheats they are very comfortable they're very smooth very easy to apply the original pillow talk lip liner is amongst my favorite lip liners for every day. So I picked up both the medium and the intense. So obviously the medium is geared towards the more medium skin tones and intense is for the really deep skin tones, but of course not limited. I think they're very flattering for every skin tone really. So here I have swatches and the first one is regular pillow talk. Then we have the medium, then we have the intense. As you can see, I feel like they get more brown plummy as the color deepens. I don't necessarily know that they play off of the original original pillow talk so much I would think they would need to be a bit more rosy pinky whereas I feel like these run more brown plum the deeper that they get but that's just my personal opinion like if she didn't have the name pillow talk on these lipsticks and she named them something else I really wouldn't affiliate them to the original pillow talk lipstick but definitely they are in the same family but it's just not 
how I would associate them if it was me. But anyways, let's talk about the colors. So the first one that we have is the medium, which is a warm berry pink, and it is from her Matte Revolution line. Now, I really like her matte lipsticks. They aren't moisturizing, but they are very comfortable matte formula. She has one of my favorite matte formulas as far as lipsticks goes, because they're so comfortable. And yes, definitely has that berry plummy type of undertone to it. I think she could have gone a little bit lighter with this shade or had like a 0.5 shade in between because the jump from Pillow Talk to this is quite deep. But nothing wrong with that. Very pretty shade. I really liked it. For somebody fair like me, it actually has quite a punch to it. It's quite dark. But for somebody with a medium skin tone, I think you really are going to enjoy that. And then we have the Intense. Now this one, I feel like the color runs much more brown in this one. So this is described as a deep berry rose pink. I feel like there's not too much pink to it. And the formula of the lipstick is the Kissing Formula. Now this is my favorite formula from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a very moisturizing formula that has a sheen to it. It's just my favorite. That is what I'm wearing throughout this whole video. So even though I am very fair, the intense shade is still really fun. Of course, it is a very deep lip on me. And something that I did notice is there is a sheer quality to this lipstick. It can be built up, but for me, I just line my lips and then put this over. And I could see a little bit of sheerness to it, which I really like because that makes it more versatile for more people. It's not just such a very intense color that it's hard to work with. It does have some flexibility to it. Yeah, I honestly think I like the intense more than I like the medium. They're really nice neutral colors to have. I think Charlotte Tilbury's lip color line in general is really fabulous. She has colors that people just want to wear no matter what skin tone you are. So I'm very happy to have both of these in my collection and I think they're really fun. I think they're really, really pretty. So that is all I have for today's video. I do like everything that that I've purchased from this new collection and from these new releases. In the grand scheme of things, yes, I suppose it is a bit overkill, but she did it well. The products that she came out with were done very well, whereas with a brand like NARS, I feel like when they were going overkill with Orgasm, like not all the products were good. Like these products are actually good. So if she's gonna do it, you have to at least do it well and she did that. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. I know it's a few days late past the release, but life, I will be filming a video on that very soon and you'll figure out what the heck has been going on with my schedule. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one. Here is my bonus clip of comparing Charlotte Tilbury Pill Talk Quad to the Instant Eye Look Palette. So for those of you who do have the regular Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Quad, that is actually what I have swatched down here, all four shades. And then the top here are the closest four shades that are in the Instant Eye Full Palette. So obviously the regular palette's only four. The one shade that they definitely didn't have is this one because this is her Pop formula. So there was not really too comparable of a shade. That one was very unique. The light shimmery shade I matched with the lightest shade from the Day section. The Instant an eye palette similar different undertones though this one is more pinky this one has more of a golden champagne the second shade we have here this is blush pink and then we have the pink from the day section this one is more deep a little bit more plum to it this one is more of a blushy tone pretty similar though and then the last shade is from the deepest color in the pillow talk quad and the closest color I could find is from the desk portion which is the deepest one and this one's much more warm I really couldn't find too close of a match to this one. So they are different. If you were to put the regular quad in with the Instant Eye palette, it would fit in very well. But it's like there's only slight differences. So if you're not really picky about differences on shadows, I think if you have the little quad, you can get a similar effect on the eye versus the big palette. But I mean, they are different. So that's just to show you. All right, bye.